Hiya, Peg. Hiya, Rob. Now, is that your real name, Peggy? No. 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 What were you born as then? I was given the name... Oh, christened. Marjorie. Marjorie. So... Marjorie Monaghan. Right. So how did Peggy come in? I had an Uncle Tom who christened me Peggy when I was about two. And it stuck. <laughs> did it? Yeah. 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 So I've been called Peggy. Right. Ever since. And if I meet anybody when I'm out shopping and they say, hello, Marge, how are you? I know it's a school friend. Yeah, somebody from school. Because I was always called Marjorie yeah. at school. <laughs> yeah. ah. So where were you born? In Park Street. Right. In Park well, Street. Was that like a maternity hospital in Park oh, Street? No, or no. What? In those days, they all had the babies at home. Oh, right, right. They, they, not many went into hospital. No, no. They all had their, the midwife. Oh, right, used yeah. Used to come. Well, a bit like on the telly, call yeah. the midwife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I suppose yeah. it is, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, because years ago, they all had the babies right. at home. Right, so where did you live? In Park Street. So you lived in Park Street? Yeah, all yeah. my life until I got married. Oh, did you? Yeah. So, uh, what was your husband's name? His name was Teddy Maskery. Right, where'd you meet him? At Tom Charles Thompson's mission. Did you? Isn't that brilliant? He was one of the um, the boys. Yeah. And um, as a child, I came to the mission when I was about eight, and my mother brought me. And we sat up in the gallery. And then when... Um, in those days, you were able to run round the streets yeah. and not be afraid. Yeah, so you played out in the streets, yeah. So I was able to come to the mission. Yeah. And I used to come on um, a Monday night. There was Band of Hope. And then on Thursday, we had a Magic Lantern. Right. And there was a Mr. Lee from the Tapestry Works yeah. that used to bring his um, magic lantern. It was all stilled. Yeah. Stilled. Um, yeah, like slides. Yeah, Glass slides. slides kind of thing, yeah. And either Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Lowry yeah. used to read the story. Did they? Yeah. And I always remember it was always Pollyanna. Who oh, was he? Yeah. And in the meantime, there was a chorus or a hymn. Ah, oh, lovely. And then... Um, the um, Mr. Lee, no, the person telling the story yeah. would have a clicker. Oh, yeah, yeah. For him to that. do the next picture. Right, right. And the boys yes. used to get chewing gum <laughs> and click it. <laughs> so the fella doing so the slides. The, 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 you know, until they caught the boy who was doing it. <laughs> So was he going mad with the slides, was he, one after the other? And the story couldn't keep up, I suppose. Because, because he was elderly, you yeah, know. Yeah. He was he was getting on, you know. Yeah. But when he heard the clicking, he would, <laughs> as you say. <laughs> and then um uh, Well can I can I just ask you something and say you can I ask you your age? I know you shouldn't do that with a lady, yeah, well. but I know we have this relationship where I know I can ask you that. Yeah. But how old are you now? I'm 95. You're 95, so you're a spring chicken, aren't you? I am. With well, the way you move around here, you <laughs> are, I'm telling you. But, okay, so what was the year then, do you think it was? What kind of year was it when you actually started coming to the mission as a child? Well, it would be in the 60s, wouldn't it? Would it? No. Or before the 60s? No, it'd be before the 60s when you come out as a child of eight. It, you must have been in, say, the 30s or... Oh. Mustn't you? I mean, when as, you first came. When I first came, I was a, eight. You were eight, yeah. And then so, I started coming to all the children's meetings. That's right, yeah. You see. So what and kind then, of year would that be, Peg? How far can we go back with that? Well, say I was born 1920. Yeah. And then say I was eight. 1928. 28, won't it? 1928. Yeah, wow. That's amazing. And then how I've many... been coming all those years. Oh, lovely. Sorry to keep interrupting you, it's just as something comes to me. Yeah. How many children were coming then, Peg? 
there used to be about 500. <gasps> wow. But Miss Thompson knew all her own children. Yeah. We used to get a lot of children around Christmas. Yeah. Because of it was the only um, place in Birkenhead yeah. that gave out um, a bun. Yeah. You know, yeah. we used to get a bun every time we came. All oh, right. Now at Christmas, um, there'd be about five hundred. Wow. And we'd all be queued up <sighs> in um, Hemiford Street. Yeah. Outside the school. Right. So it went round the and corner, didn't it? It did. From we Conway went through Street. the school. Wow. No. We used to uh, queue up and be let in in the school yard. Oh, right, yeah. And all the girls and the boys were put in tens. <laughs> really? And then the ten first, maybe ten girls would go first, and we'd go round the yard and into Hemiford Street wow. and into the mission up the steps. Yeah, yeah. Into the big hall. Yeah. And we'd go round the forms. Yeah. And when we got to... Um, the, the front, the girls would be given a doll mm -hmm. and the boys a parcel of the toys that had come in for wow. boys. But the boys' and parcel, was it wrapped like wrapped up, for the boy? Yeah. Wrapped up, yeah. yes. And then um, we'd be given a bag of food right. and there was an apple and an orange yeah. and um, a lovely pie, a meat pie. What oh, was there? And a sweets <laughs> and sweets, yeah, and um, a mince pie, wow. and um, they were all given this bag of food, oh. and of course, you know, in those days there was only the dole, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. You know, there wasn't, um, uh, you know, the money, and that's why Charles Thompson yeah. started yeah. the mission. Yeah. Yeah. Because of um, the poverty. That's right. He was going round seeing all the children with bare feet. Yeah. All sitting, um, you know, in the streets. Yeah. And then he, 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 he was given Charles Thompson's mission. Yeah. And, and all the children used to flock uh, there. Now that was in 1892, wasn't it? Yeah. When the mission first yeah. opened. Yes, yeah. yes. I believe he yes. went to see Lord Leverhulme because he he'd had different places, hadn't yeah, he? Yeah. He even had an old roller yeah. skating rink didn't yeah, he at yeah, one stage yeah, yeah. and then Tomo's came on the market that's right it was, was it and all the business all the businessmen yeah all but, but uh, gave um so much yeah, donations that's right there was a share and bought it. yeah one yes. pound share they would buy yes. wouldn't they yeah, yeah and that's how the money was shares. raised and then that was given to charles thompson yeah and then um, he used to go around all the big shops and ask them if there was anything over yeah. in the way of bread yeah. or cakes, yeah. would they send it to the mission? Wow. And then he would give it out. Wow. Now nothing changes, does it? Because no, Bernie's still... in charge these days and he's doing he get he receives bread now yep, from yep. supermarkets, yes, yes, doesn't he? Yeah. And gives it out. Yep. Sorry, but in those days yeah. it was poverty. There was oh, real poverty. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was nothing, was yeah, there yeah. really? And then there was a, a milkman named Mr. Dudgeon. Oh, yeah. And he had a milk shop in Grange Road West. Really? And he used to send all the milk that he had over. Yeah. Oh. And then they'd all, um, opposite the mission, there used to be flats. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And someone from the mission, one of the boys, would go and they'd shout, there's milk at the mission. <laughs> and they'd all flock with oh, their jam jars. Isn't that crazy? And, and um, you know, jugs. Yeah. Anything that would hold yeah. milk. Yeah. And when I came home from school, I knew if there was a rice pudding in the oven, <laughs> there was milk at the mission. Oh, wow, isn't that brilliant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. yeah. Was and it true, then, Peg, that it was just basically all streets and houses around yeah, here? Yeah, it was. I mean, it's yeah. changed now, hasn't yeah. it? Oh, all the, yes. The, the big shops well, and Well, the big and flats that. used to be opposite the mission. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, um, they all came from the flats yeah. to... The mission, yeah. and that's why there were so many children. Oh, oh, but you see, wow. it's not the children. There's not the poverty. No, though, it's not say. exactly the same, is no, there? There's no, difficulties no. in that, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it's not like it was in them oh, days. Oh no, you know? there was poverty. But talking about Charles Thompson's mission, he, he, he was a deeply committed Christian, wasn't he? Was. he? he and was. when he came and yeah, he saw yeah. the situation, yes. that's why yes. eventually God enabled him to open the yes. mission up. Yeah. Well, 
But when he went to be with the Lord, uh, was it 1903? Oh, 1903. 1903, yeah. yeah. His daughter Annie took over. She took over. Now, I never, I never no, got to meet Annie. she was a lovely, lovely lady. Oh. A big influence on my life, Miss really? Thompson. Really? Oh, Miss Thompson. Good. And of course, as I grew older, you see, um, like, or in the summer, all the, the um, contractors oh, yeah. used to lend their wagons. Did they? And we'd go to, um, and their drivers. Yeah. And we'd go to, um, to New Brighton. Yeah. Or we'd go like a to, day trip, you mean? Yeah, on a Saturday. Oh. And we'd go to um, um, Thurston and Hills yeah. and Barnston. Oh, lovely. And I always remember at Barnston, they had a big slide. That's right, I never knew about that. A great big that. slide. And, you know, you that were was on, down Barnston dip, yeah, wasn't right it? Right through Huge the dip. Relief. Right through the dip. Wow. And, of course, you had a mat. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you'd have to walk up. To a child, it was about a mile yeah, it must to get to back if you wanted another yeah, ride. Because it was that high up and that big, it was, wasn't it? It was. I saw a photograph yeah, of it yeah. once, yeah. Oh. And, and um, you know, you'd, you'd take your mat and if you wanted another slide, you'd have to, you know. Yeah. And then yeah. you'd walk up this, <laughs> and it was all hills, you know. It would be, yeah, yeah. And then if it was raining, we'd, we'd have our tea. And then we'd all, um, they'd put all the tables away. Yeah. And we'd all be in twos and we'd be singing, here we are again, oh, happy brilliant. as can be. Brilliant. You know, and, and we'd play, you know, all going round, all yeah. singing oh. when it was raining. Oh. And then we'd come back, get on the lorry, and we'd come down Grange Road, yeah. all singing Isn't choruses. That and there used to be a big notice on the, on the lorries, Charles Thompson's. Poor children's mission. Yeah. Well, then later on, the poor was taken out. All oh, right. And it was just Charles Thompson's mission. All oh, right. Yeah. You yeah. know. Oh. And that's I, I remember that as a child. Yeah. Well, along with those day trips, the mission always did a, a free camp, a free holiday. Uh, yes, we used didn't to they, go for to the camp. boys and girls. Yes. yes. So where was that? And there camp? used to be. It, it was. Um, Merseyside Holiday Camp. Right. In Dizzeth. Oh, wow. And we used to go from Woodside on yeah. the train. Yeah. Would they pick the children up here on lorries again? No, no. Oh, how, how did When I do was that? a child, yeah. we all met at Woodside. Oh, you had to go to Woodside, right. With all our, our, our clothes and things in a pillowcase. <laughs> yeah. And we get on the train. Yeah. And when, when we got to Prestatton, we get off that train and we go on a little train called the coffee pot. Oh, I never knew that. No. I never knew that. And this coffee pot used to run at the bottom of the mountain. Did it? By the camp. Yeah. And we'd all get off and we'd walk down the lane and we'd all be in twos and um, have these bags that, you know, the pillowcase yeah. was you know, we used to pull your clothes and yeah. sleep yeah. on the pillowcase. Right. We'd get into the camp and we'd queue up with a palliasse. Yeah, what's a palliasse? It, it's like a big sack. Yeah. And it was filled with straw. Oh, right. And that was your bed. Was it? <laughs> and, they, you know, they'd stop and, and you know, he was saying, I hope they put a lot of straw in because it was springs on the bed. Was you know? there? Oh. And of course, if there wasn't a lot of straw, you'd feel them springs. Oh, I bet you, you would, know? yeah. And we'd be in little huts. Oh. And um, before we got to camp, uh, uh, there used to be um, a captain yeah. of, the, of the hut. Yeah. And she'd pick the, ca the girls that she wanted in their bunk. Oh, I see. You yeah. know. Yeah. And we had to keep the bunks clean. Yeah. Sure. You know. Yeah. And we used to have bunk inspection after breakfast yeah. every morning. Yeah. Oh. And um, we just have to queue up outside, you know. We'd all clean the bunk, to, you know, to yeah. get the most points yeah. because we'd get 10 out of 10 or oh, right. 8 yeah, out of 10. You, it yeah. depends, oh. you know. And yeah. then at the end of the camp week, yeah. we'd all get prizes, oh, isn't you know. That oh, that's and uh, for the best bunk and things yeah. like that, you yeah. know. Yeah and it was happy days and we'd all go up the mountain on a Sunday night yeah. 
and we'd all be sitting on top of the mountain yeah. all singing choruses. Isn't that great? And it was lovely, you know. Something's just come to me now. Didn't it have a swimming pool as well? They did. And that's when I learned to swim. Was it? At camp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that brilliant, yeah. eh? Yeah. Well, then as I grew older, Miss Thompson, she, she knew a lot of the ladies. Mm. She had lovely ladies, you know. Yeah. They all lived in, um, you know, Caldy. Oh, yes, and folks all that in, she knew, yeah. yeah. And, and all in um, Prenton and yeah. Austin. They're all yeah. the nice, you know. Yeah, yeah. And um, she would, um, when I was 15, she said to me, Peggy, would you like to go to uh, camp to work? And um, I said, uh, well, yes, I think I'll ask my mother. Yeah. You'd always ask your mother. Yeah. You know, yeah. if ever. Uh, yeah. You, you'd always went to your mother. Yeah. Maybe your dad. No. Always your mother. Yeah. I'll ask my mother. Anyway, um, I went home and I said, Miss Thompson's asked me to go and work at camp. I was 15. And um, my mother said, Do you want to go? I said, Yes, I'd like to go. It was 10 shillings a week. I see. At camp. But we got tips at the end of the Did you? the week. Yeah. The people you, that you you know uh, brought the children. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh -huh. Used to give you a tip. Did they? Anyway, I went at fifteen. I came home, and Miss Thompson said, "Peggy, I want you to go and work for Mr. and Mr. And so she found me a job. Yeah. Miss Thompson." She, she knew oh. all the gentry. Right, I'm with you now. And they wanted somebody to cl clean. Yeah, yeah. So Peggy would go, and wherever Miss Thompson sent her. Peggy went. And then May came along, and it was camp. Oh, yeah. The camp was opened. Yeah, yeah. Peggy, would you like to go to camp? So Peggy went to camp again. <laughs> and um, I went until... 1939, and that's when war broke out. All oh, right, yeah. Oh. I always remember it was on a Sunday morning, and um, we <coughs> were closing the camp. September yeah. was quiet, so the camp was closed. Yeah. But so many girls stayed behind to, you know, pack all the blankets and yeah. all, and yeah. pack everything away, yeah. and things like that. And I was always one that stayed behind. Yeah. And um, the uh, we were all sitting having a cup of tea, and Chamberlain came over the phone, the wireless, yeah. and said we were at war. Oh. And then I came home, and I was growing up then. Yeah. I was a teenager. Yeah. And I was nineteen. And um, Miss Thompson sent me to Mr. Dudgeon, who used to send the milk. Right, yeah. She sent me to his house to work. Yeah. And um, with being single, I had to um, either work in a factory mm. or go into the forces. Right. Well, I didn't want to go in a factory. No. So, uh, no, I didn't want to go in the forces, so I decided to go in the factory. Right. And I went to work in a factory in Liverpool. Uh -huh. And then this Mr. Dudgeon tried to get me, you know, because they were elderly. Yeah. And he tried to keep me, uh, you know. Yeah. But yeah. no, I had to go. Yeah. So I went on munitions. And in the meantime, my husband, who was my boyfriend then, yeah, he he was um, he was the, one of the mission boys. Yes, and we started courting, you know. Right. And then he was caught. He was called up. He went in the air force. Right. And in the meantime, we were still coming to the mission. Yeah. The mission was open. Yeah. Still doing all what Miss Thompson did. Right. And we had the services in the afternoons uh -huh. because we had the blackout. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
people wouldn't come out at night. And, um, you know, we used to, um, my husband, who was my boyfriend then, he went abroad. Mm. But before he went abroad, we got engaged. And then um, we used to write to one another, you know. Yeah. And he, he was in the Middle East. And um, we always had a service on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, yeah. And um, we didn't have many services in the week. No. Because all the children were sent away. Yeah, sure. No. They were evacuated. Yeah, yeah, the evacuation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the children were sent away. And, um, uh, you know, it was all, um, you wouldn't come out at night because of the blackout. Yeah, yeah. And when I was on nights, um, two to ten, yeah. one of my brothers or my dad used to meet, meet me ah. at the um, central station. Right. To walk me home because yeah. of the blackout. Yeah. And it was late at night. Yeah, yeah. Well then, huh. when the, um, my husband came home, um, it was 1944, we came home and we got married. And in the meantime, we were still coming to the mission. Yeah. And doing things. I was, uh, you know, becoming a worker then. That's right, yeah. Because yeah. I was 19, 20. Yeah. And then um, we uh, got married and um, we, um, I had uh, David, but Ted came and did, uh, you know, he was one of the mission boys right. and at Christmas time he came yeah. and um, helped because, you know, we, all the boys helped yeah. Yeah. and um, there used to be four boys together, there was my husband and three other boys, you were all at the mission doing things and yeah. helping. Yeah. They used to um, whitewash the yards. Did they? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because once a year, Miss Thompson used to have all the, um, there used to be a ward in, in St. Catharines. Yeah. That was all, um, you know, the people that, you know, that was, um, um, weren't able to look after themselves. Oh, right, yeah. They had disabilities in that sense, yeah, didn't they? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And Miss Thompson used to have them down at the mission oh. for a day. Yeah. And it was always on a Saturday. And, of course, all these boys used to help with these disabled people. Yeah. And they used to bring nurses and oh. that, you know. Oh. And um, the... Um, they used to have the uh, the tea, and Miss Thompson used to let let them go up on the platform mm -hmm. and uh, sing, and of course the way they were, that they loved it. Yeah. And yeah. Miss Thompson encouraged them yeah. to come up. She knew them all oh, by name, really? and she because she used to go to the hospital yes. once a week really? to visit these Did people. She? Wow. And um, at, at Easter time. We used to take a crowd of the children to the hospital on Good Friday. Yeah. And we'd take about a dozen children mm. and um, they would um, sing and we'd go from ward, we'd start at the top, go from ward to ward. Mm. And the children used to sing or say a piece of poetry. Yeah. And my husband used to give the men five wood binds. Right. And I used to give the ladies a packet of biscuits. Right. That was our job. Yeah, yeah. And we'd go from ward to ward yeah. doing this. And then um, we'd come back to the mission. Yeah. And there'd be tea laid out for the children. Yeah. And the children would have their tea. Right. And, um, and then on um, Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday, you know, yeah. we'd all meet and, and uh, all sing and that for, oh. for Easter and that, yeah. you know. Yeah. And um, then we, we'd go to camp with the children. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was all in um, 
seasons right. the mission. Yeah. We yeah. used to have Christmas, yeah. Easter. Yeah. You know, we 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 do Christmas and get everything like we're doing now. Yes. And then it's Easter. We after Christmas we start getting ready for Easter. Yes, right. And then Easter wasn't as busy as Christmas. No, no. And uh, all the children used to get an Easter egg. Yeah, lovely. And um, and then we, the next would be camp. Right. W was the May Queen in between that? In between that, we used to have May Queens. Wow. Could you tell us as a little a, bit about May Queen then? Yeah. Um, one of the girls used to be chosen right. as uh, the Queen. Yeah. And we used to have um, a, a concert and the person, it was a dancing school. Right. And the person who used to run this dancing school, um, she, I can't think of her name. She used to um, announce the name of the girl. Right. Miss Thompson would whisper really? the name of the girl yeah. who was going to be queen right. at the end of the, the concert. Yeah, right. And of course, um, then we'd start practicing then yeah. uh, for um, the concert. Mm. Mm. And as a child, I was always in the chorus. Well, yeah. I never was one for, I didn't push myself. No, I'm I didn't want to be no. doing things no. I, because I get too nervous. Yeah. And then um, the Queen, uh, we do a, a, you know, a, a lovely concert at the YMCA Hall in Grange Road. Oh, when it was in Grange Not the Road. new one no. in West Lane. Grange Road. Right. And we'd all go and uh, we'd all have nice clothes on. Yeah. We used to have to go in the small hall and Mrs. Moore used to be old for the, she was the dresser. Right. right. And she would pick dresses for yes. us, you know. And she'd say, Peggy, I want you to come in the, the hall. I've got a dress for you. <laughs> for the, you know, because we we're all, yeah. You see, we all had poor clothes and that. Sure. We weren't um, no. posh or anything. No. So, of course, we had to be all nicely dressed yeah, for this dressed concert. Yeah. And then um, my husband, he had a lovely tenor voice. And he used to sing halfway through the, uh, the concert. Mm -hmm. Only a penny, sir. And he'd all throw the pennies. <laughs> From it, from the audience. Yeah, yeah. And there used to be a balcony, and someone would go round with a, 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 bo a box. Oh right. To put the, the money. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, um, oh. they used to announce how much they collected. Yeah. At the end, you know. Oh. And then we, the Queen used to be crowned, and it was on um, a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Right. And Thursday night, it was the mayor and the mayoress. Right. The mayoress crowned the queen. Yeah. On a Friday, it used to be um, Sanderman and Allen. They were good, you know, they used to have the run in the town. Yes, they were like dignitaries, weren't they? they? Yeah. Were. Yeah, to do with the council and yeah. things like they, that. They were on the council. Right. But, it, you know, it's different now. Yeah. And then on the Saturday night, it was... An, Somebody else that used yeah. to crown, and she used to get lovely presents. You know, uh, she'd show us the presents uh, she got, and, that. Yeah. and it, it was lovely. You uh, know the way um, we used yeah. to have these May queens, yeah. Yeah. and all the money that was collected used to pay for the children going to camp. Right. We used to have a pansy day. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I've seen them here. Yeah. The little paper ones with the, the pin little on. paper. Yeah. We used to have a pansy day. Yeah. And being a worker, yeah. I used to have to get so many pansies. Right. Um, and of course, I was working myself in yeah. Rob's yeah. Yeah. in Grange Road. Yeah. And Rob's used to make the crown for the Queen. Oh, did they? And it used to be in the, in the window in Grange Road. Wow. And I'd go and I look at this lovely crown. Yeah. And it used to be all lovely rosebuds oh. and net and that, you know. Oh. And every year they made the crown for the Queen. And it, oh, it was lovely, you yeah. know. Yeah. And then um, it, we, um, my husband used to sing, you know, yeah. the, only a penny. 
and of course he was dressed in rags, mm. you know, mm. and um, they'd throw all these, well, more than pennies, you yeah. know. Yeah. And, and then I was saying about the pansy day, um, I used to take, uh, get a, um, a, a couple of bags. Yeah. And on a Friday night, yeah. I'd go around the pubs. Would you? Now, Miss Thompson knew that I came from the pubs. Yeah. Yes. She'd have been, uh, you know. Yeah, she'd have been But it was the it. only way of me yeah. getting. And you'd go in and you'd say to the um, the person behind the bar, is it all right if I go through? It's Charles Thompson's yeah. mission. Yeah. Oh, yes, love, go through. Everybody knew Charles Thompson's yeah. mission. Oh, it was the yes. only organisation in Birkenhead mm. Mm. because no one, no one else. No. Uh, you no. know, there was no one else. And... Um, Sometimes you'd run out of pansies, would you? but the box would still go oh, round yeah, because yeah. they were all old Charles Thompson's missing Good. children yeah, sitting yeah. in the pubs. Yeah, you know. Oh. And then um, you know, we get uh, my husband used to um, come on the Saturday, and the other three boys yeah. used to come and open these boxes and count right. the money, and that's what he did. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. And um, you know, is it that was stopped? The, yeah. the pansy day was stopped. Yeah. You know, uh, um, the, you know that all that money used to go for camp, mm. Mm. and that's how we got the the you know to pay. Yeah. For um, yeah. yeah. For camp. So, when I and Joyce came yeah. uh, as the as the superintendent. Um, Annie had gone home to be with the Lord, hadn't she? I think it was 1965, was he? C, three, C, three. 63. 63, right. 63. And, and was it Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Lowry took over? Took over. Yeah, were yes. you still coming then? I was still coming. Wow. I came right through. Did you really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I've always made the tea. Yeah, yeah. All evening when yeah. they came, you know, yeah. um, I made the, always made the yeah. tea. The amazing thing for me is, you see, this Peggy Maskery was here when I came yes. as a young fella of 40 and now I've been retired five years and I'm 70 in January and guess who's still here? Peggy Maskery. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing really, isn't it? Is. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Only yeah. because God's given me the, cha the, yeah. the, the strength to yeah. do it yeah. and he's still given me the strength. Yeah. Yeah. And I've only a, got, to, uh, thank God, yeah. for giving me all the strength yeah. that he gives me. And it's a privilege, isn't it, to yes. have, have served him here? Yes. Um, yeah. You know, in whatever capacity. Because yeah. yeah. there's always been lots of volunteers and, yes. and, and people to give a hand and what have you. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. you've been here the longest. <laughs> and you're still here <laughs> on the end of a mop or a brush. They carry yeah. me out. <laughs> Yeah, with the brush in your hand as well, yeah, I'm quite sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So has it changed much? Because I remember it was difficult for folks to accept maybe a few changes I was bringing oh, in. Oh, yeah. But you, well, you didn't make many. No. Well, no. we always tried but to keep it as the mission, didn't we? what happened was um, the, the government was given more to, to families yes. then. Yes, yes. So, of course, they didn't want Charles Thompson's no. mission then. No, if There was no need for... Um, yeah. But... The, there wasn't any poor children. No. But there was neglected. That's right. They were poor in. Children. We always said, didn't we? They were poor in another way. Yeah. In yeah, a different yeah. way. Families had changed. Yeah, they? yeah. A lot of yeah. breakdown in yeah, families yeah. and things like that. There was like family that. allowance. Yeah, of see. course. Yeah. They got a family allowance. Yeah. But some, uh, you know, it, it was uh, not used the way it should have been used. Mm. You know. Mm. Yeah. It went yeah. on either smokes yeah. or yeah. drink or something yeah. like that. You and know? I mean, that's what we come across just the same today, yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We talk about poor children, and there is, yeah. there is a type of poverty around. We've got food yes. banks and everything. And oh, we, yes. And that yes. kind of thing, you know. Yes. But generally, it's people can't manage for whatever yeah. reason, yeah. you know. So you've seen loads of changes, oh, yes, haven't you? I have. You know, yeah. I mean, it yes. changed in my day. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, yeah. With, with those who had a lot of uh, yeah. problems with abuse yeah. of, of yeah. substances and what have you. Yeah. Um, but it, the numbers aren't the same children-wise, oh, are they, no, of course? No. So we're thankful that things have got yeah. that bit better, yeah. really, yes. for children. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah. well, we're more or less drawing to a close now. So you're yeah. still here. 
I'm still here. You're still here. You're yeah. still helping out. Still helping out. Yeah. 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 Still making the tea. Still making the tea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah. you looked after me well, didn't you? I did. I mean, you really looked after me. Kept me going. That's why you adopted me. Yeah. <laughs> and I adopted you. Yeah. You're my adopted <laughs> mum, and I'm your adopted. Uh, me, son. my adopted son. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But it, I mean, it was sad for you too, wasn't it? Because it was. You know, you lost David, didn't you? Yes. Um, yes. You know, to I lost my husband first. Yes. Yeah. And then David but went. The, the mission was a big help to me. Yeah, it yeah. was a big help. Yeah, during those days. Oh, lovely, yes. lovely. And I yeah. suppose, really, when when David passed away, in that sense, the mission was still here. It was. And people who loved you and cared yeah, yes, for you through yeah. a very, very yes, difficult time. Yes, I got the time. strength. I got yeah. the strength. Yeah. I prayed for strength, and yeah. I got it. Yeah. And it's the only thing that's yes. kept us going, really. I it is. To be quite it honest. is. Yeah. I've always said the grace yes. of God and the prayers of, of the Lord's course. people. Yeah. 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 And I pray and I thank God every night yeah. for the strength he's given me all, you know, every day yeah. Yeah. and still given me. And I always say when I've got to pack up, mm. God will tell me when I've got to pack up. Spot on that. Yes. Well, that's absolutely yes. true, isn't it? Yeah. You know, he's got yeah. it mapped out for yeah. us, what he wants yeah. us yeah. to do. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But you're still doing it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> still doing it. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me the old, old song. 